All right, guys. So we're gonna continue with two A past simple. That's the grammar uh, English file. The book is English file. The level is pre intermediate, right? So we're doing the grammar bank. Uh, so we're gonna start with two A today. The page one hundred and twenty eight. And in the next page, we're gonna do the exercise as well. Okay, so let's get started. Two A. Here, past simple. Past simple, regular and irregular verbs. In elementary level, uh, we learned regular and irregular verbs in two different topics. But now, as you can see here, they are making it in one topic. So uh, when we use the past simple, we use the past simple to talk about past action. Something happened or something didn't happen in the past. Finished action finished action and it must happen in the past we should mention the time of the past like last summer or yesterday last weekend two months ago last year you see so to say that something happened in the past it has got nothing to do with the present it is not related to present time guys that is when we use present that's when we use past simple how we use past simple? Obviously, by using the past simple form of verbs. So in this sense, we have got regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs, they are the verbs that we add ed to make past simple, like stay state, work, worked, want, wanted, and so on. Irregular verb, past simple changes the shape. Then shape changes like like go is went go is went right uh see is saw so you might be asking like how, where do i know how can i know this you know irregular verbs so in this book page 164 page 164 when you go to this page of this book you should be able to see all the common verbs, irregular verbs. As you can see, we've got three columns, right? Present, this is infinitive, the first column. Second one is past simple. This is what we need, past simple, for today's topic. Second column, past participle, we use it for present perfect. So we've got here, as you can see, uh, past simple and past simple, two columns that to, le to learn. For example, be, past simple, was, and where. Become is became, begin is began, and so on. So it is your responsibility to memorize these words, guys, because they are very common ones. Okay, so we have got the table here, how to make the positive, negative, and question of past simple. For regular verbs, we have got the example. Look, we, we put the subject and we say stayed. We stayed at a hotel last summer. Now, if I want to make negative, I say, didn't, he didn't stay. So look at that, he has stayed. When I say didn't, ed has to drop. After didn't, we must use infinitive form. Yeah, that's important, guys. That's important. He didn't stay with friends, negative. Uh, if I want to make question for past simple, I use did. I say did, and then you, the subject, and then infinitive. Did you stay for the weekend? Because you are starting the question with did. This is yes, no question. Or we say short answer question. So I say yes, I did. No, I didn't. When you start the question with did, you should answer with did and didn't if it's negative. Uh, if you want to ask open questions using WH questions like what, when, why, where, then you need to put the question word at the very beginning. And then you put the auxiliary verb, which is did, and then subject, and then infinitive. Where did you stay? The same pattern follows for irregular verb, except the Positive is different, as you can see here. We need to learn. Went, I went. Went is the past simple of go. Like I go every day. Every day I go, present simple. But if I say last year, I must say I went. 
to Turkey twice last year. Negative, didn't go. Went becomes go. She didn't go to France. Question again, did, did you go to Madrid? Yes, I did. No, we didn't. And this is the WH question, why? So if you want to put the question word, it has to be put at the very beginning. Why did you go? Okay, so this is a brave explanation for past simple guys. As I said, 164, page 164, very important to learn irregular verbs. Without these verbs, we can't do much. Hmm? These verbs are very important for us. Okay, guys. Now we've got some uh, spelling, spelling uh, lesson here to make regular verbs, ed, how to add ed. Most of the verbs, like work, stay, you just put ed. If the verb in this with e, you just add d. Add d if the verb finishes in e. What about if the verb finishes with i? What about if the verb finishes in y? And you want to add ed to that, then you must change y to i. Look, study, study it. So Y, you change to I, and then you put ED, guys. Study it. And if the verb ends with consonant, vowel, consonant, look, consonant, vowel, consonant. There are five consonant letters, and I think we know that. O, E, I, A, U. The rest of them, consonant. So like a T is consonant, O is vowel, P is consonant. So when you got that, and you want to add ed, you need to double consonant, the last one, the last letter. So stop, double P, stopped, and so on. Okay, so now we're going to move to the next page to do exercise for 2A, guys. Okay, so we do exercise A here. Put the verbs in the brackets in the past simple. So we have got the verbs in brackets, as you can see. All we need to do, we need to put them in past simple. Sometimes it's negative. All right. So drive, past simple is drove. I mean, if you look at it here, drive, past simple is drove. So I'm just going to put drove here, guys. I'm going to write drove, drove. Brake, past simple is broke. It's going to go up a little bit. Here's the brake. The past simple is broke. It's going to go broke here. Spend, past simple is spent. Hmm? Spend, the D you change to T only and it becomes past simple, spent. Spent. Get. Past simple of get is got. It's here. Get. Got. So I'll write it down here. Got. Go. Past simple is went. Okay. N not can. Can. Past simple is could, guys. Past simple of can is could. Can, could. Negative can't, so it becomes couldn't. So we'll write down here, couldn't, couldn't. Okay, what about B? They. So when you go to B, it has got two past simple, guys. Past simple forms, B. Was and where. Was is for singular. Where is for plural. So here, they is the plural. So we're going to write here, were. Not know. So it's a negative. As you can see here, if I want to make negative, I use didn't. So didn't know. Didn't know. And then we've got find. Find, past simple is found. Here you go, found, if you want to see that. Here's that. Find, past simple is found. Okay. Now we've got here, stay. Stay is a regular verb, so we add just ed, stayed. C, past simple of C is saw. Huh? So, not so. A lot of students say so. This is wrong. You have to say saw. The castle, by, by, past simple is bought. Bought. Some students say boat. This is mistake. Bought. By, by, bought. You see? Board, B, O, this is the prolonged version, T, so board. Want is a regular verb, so we just add ED, wanted. 
not have. So negative, as you can see, didn't have. Didn't stay. So have is the main verb. So didn't have. We will write here, didn't have. Didn't have. Okay. Now B, again B. Now this time it. It is singular. So we say it was. The weather. Not B. So was. I mean, the word is uncountable, so we must use singular. So was, negative, wasn't, wasn't. Start is regular verb, so we say started. And uh, leave, past simple is left. Past simple is left, so let's find leave here. Leave, leave, past simple is left. So we left, we left London. Stop, that's a regular verb, but we must make double P and then ED, stopped. Because P is soundless consonant, soundless. ED we say as T, stopped, stopped. Okay, so for the sake of reading fluency and pronunciation, I'm going to read this story. And I really would like you also to practice like that. While you do the grammar exercises, we should read aloud while we're doing it. And in this way, we're going to improve our pronunciation, speaking, and reading abilities, guys. Okay, so let's get started. Two summers ago, we had, we had a holiday in Scotland. We drove there from London, but our car broke down on the motorway. And we spent the first night in Birmingham. Birmingham. When we got to Edinburgh, this is not Edinburgh, we gotta be careful. Edinburgh, we went to our hotel, but they couldn't find our reservation. And they were full. We didn't know what to do. But in the end, we found a bed and breakfast and we stayed there for the week. We saw the castle. T is silent here, guys, not castle. We saw the castle and bought a lot of souvenirs. We wanted to go to Loch Ness. Loch Ness is the name of a lake in Scotland. So we wanted to go to Loch Ness, but we didn't have much time, and it was quite far away. The weather wasn't very good. It started raining on the day we left London, and it never stopped. Okay. So that's it. A is done. So we're moving to B. Complete the questions in the past simple. Question. So we need to practice question. We have got the answers. Look, we went to Vancouver. Yes, we had a great time. I went with my family. We stayed in a hotel. So looking at the answers, we need to build the questions in past simple, guys. So here, like we went, we went to Vancouver, obviously the place. Where did you go on holiday last year? So number one, like, wow. Like when we went to Vancouver, I think, wow, a good time. And then we go here, yes. If it's yes, it's a short answer question. Look, yes or no. So the question it will be did. Because it's a short answer question, guys. Yeah. So had is the verb here. So the, answer, the question is like, did you have a good time? I will write it now. Did you have a good time? Number two. I went with my family. The verb is went. So I must use go. I went with my family. With my family. So who did you go with? Who did you go? Went, as you can see, go. Because did is enough to show the past simple. So who did you go with? I went with my family. We stayed in a hotel. Ah, we stayed in a hotel. The verb is stay. Hotel is a place. So where did you stay? Where did you stay? Number four. 
they cost about 2000 by the way the verb cost past simple because some verbs infinitive and past simple they don't change cost 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 you see cut 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 or oh, another one here put 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 so it doesn't change some verbs so here they're asking about the money the price of the ticket so how much how how much did the plane tickets cost all right how much did the plane tickets cost they cost about 2000 right number 5 it was hot and sunny when we have was in our sentence past simple and if i want to make question i'm not going to use did guys because was is enough so it's about the weather so it will be what was the weather like what was the weather like yeah don't forget that was and where you want to make negative or question we don't use did we use did to other verbs like go stop eat see mm -hmm, play drive and etc was where no we're not going to use do uh, we're not going to use did in past simple number six we usually went out for dinner in the evening, so activity, we're asking about activity. So what did you do in the evening? What did you do in the evening? And the answer is we usually went out for dinner. And that's it. Now in this way, we have completed these exercises for 2A. And in the next video, we're gonna continue with 2B now, all right? So uh, thanks for your time and have a good day, guys. See you again, bye-bye.